We don't make a lot of desserts on this channel, but we are today. We're gonna make a really healthy, whole food, plant-based compliant cake. It's called a Tres Leches cake. You're gonna love it. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I'm all about making the fastest, simplest, healthy recipes so that you can get in and out of the kitchen quickly. We recently made a chili rellenos recipe from our brand new cookbook, but you need a dessert to go with that. So today we are making a cake. It's a simple tres leches cake. This is a cake I used to eat a lot when I lived in Costa Rica, but it had three different kinds of all very unhealthy milks. Today we're using soy milk, very simple, but we're gonna use it three times. So it's still tres leches, three milks. <laughs> I'm following the rules. You can hear it in the title, it works. If you don't know, we put out our very first cookbook recently. Yes, it had the chili rellenos recipe and it has this tres leches recipe in it as well. So if you want to get hold of this recipe, find our book. There's a digital version and a print version as you can see here. You're going to love it. Everybody has said they love the cookbook. Literally zero people have told me, I hate your cookbook. Did you know that? <laughs> no. No hate reviews. That makes it five stars. Are you ready to make a cake, Reebs? Impress your friends with this cake. Come on in close and let's get to work. But not a lot of work because it's really easy, I'm telling you. So I'm starting with a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. Just throw it in a big mixing bowl. Simple, simple. I've not tried this with like chickpea flour or a gluten-free flour. I've done it with whole wheat flour and it works perfectly. So you let me know if you try it with something else. I'm curious to know. Then we've got some cinnamon, throw that in there, and some baking powder. And we're just gonna whisk together the dry ingredients, just like making any cake. How easy is this? Boom, the dry step is complete. Now we'll do the wet step. We're gonna mix the wet with the dry. You know how it goes. Now because our wet step, what we're gonna to add to this is not going to be using the processed sugar. We're using whole dates. I've got 25 of the little deglet dates. They've already been pitted and I'm throwing them into the blender just like that. So to that, I've got a cup and a half of soy milk. Throw that in with the dates and I'm going to throw a little bit of vanilla in too. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Boom. Now we're just going to blend that till it's smooth and you guessed it. When it's smooth and nice, we're pouring it into the dry ingredients, mixing it all together. Okay. Let's dump it in. You guessed it. I've I've got my handy little spatula here so I can scrape all every little bit out of this blender. Now do a service. Don't mistreat your blender. Go ahead and rinse it out before it gets crusty and dry. That can just sit for a second. It was Reeves, by the way, who invented this whole recipe and it's pretty awesome. Next step, we need a little sparkling water. I've chosen Topo Chico because I'm only gonna need three quarters of a cup, but I'm going to drink the rest. So take about three quarters of a cup of sparkling water. It can be anything. Yesterday I made this with flavored LaCroix with grapefruit lime, lemon, it doesn't matter. Just throw it in and just start mixing it up. We're gonna make that nice doughy cake. And once it starts getting pretty thick, you can switch to a spoon if you want to. Be sure to spray that whisk off right now before it gets crusty. I'll just use this spatula. That'll be perfect. Wait, I need a break. Get everything stirred together. It's a pretty wet dough, as you can see. That's okay, it's gonna dry out. Let's get it in there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it smells so good. So that's in, and now just kind of flatten it down so it's all nice and even. That was faster than a box cake. Wasn't it? This yes. is fast. We're throwing it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Simple, simple, there we go. We'll see you after that. Here we go, it's cake o'clock. Ooh, I did 30 minutes and that looks perfect. You can see how it's, you know, the little spread, little holes and stuff that, what does that mean? It means it's perfect. I'm not a baker, but I'm pretty sure that means it's done. All right, your cake base is out, it's hot. Let it cool, we're gonna stab it a whole bunch of times, but it's probably best to let it cool down so that it's not totally mushy as you're stabbing through it. So now pretend it's cooled down, and I like to take a regular old bamboo skewer, just start poking it. <laughs> and you wanna poke it, I don't know, 10 to 20,000 times. This is how we do it where I'm from. Why are you poking it, Dill? Because we have to put our second leche in. Our second leche? And we leche. need this thing to absorb the Leche. So that's it. You're just gonna poke it a bunch of times. Then we have two cups of more soy milk. This is our second leche. And we're gonna do, I know, it seems blasphemous. What is he doing? It looks ridiculous. Just pour the milk on Whoa. like that. Just, yep, let it fill right on up. You can leave it here for a minute and let it start to soak, or you can just co cover it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge. Remember, we already let it cool down. You need to let this sit at least a few hours. Let it soak up 
all the beautiful, this milk will not appear here when it's done soaking. I'll show you. <laughs> here is the one I put in to soak just last night. Look, you wow. can't even see the, le the second leche. It's all soaked in, but you can still see all my little bullet holes. All that's normal. Again, you can use a square regular Pyrex, not a pie plate. I just had two of these for continuity, it just worked. The thing about this cake that people might not realize is it is served cold. This is a cold cake. It's not a hot cake. Hot cakes are called hot cakes. As it stands, this is a dos leches cake, which is not what we're making today. So we better get to work on our third and final leche. We're gonna make a simple frosting. It is very similar to the way that the cake was made. We've got another bundle of dates that were thrown in the blender. Some more milk, our third leche. And then a little bit of cinnamon, throw that in there. And we're just gonna blend this into a beautiful frosting. Let it get nice and thick and let's see what happens. He's still asleep, so we can continue filming. Let's do this. You want your frosting to be pretty spreadable, so if it seems like too wet, then add more dates or reduce the soy milk a little bit. But I'm gonna pour it on, and we'll do, it'll thicken up when it sets. But I'm gonna pour this on, just spread it out. Again, this isn't perfectly flat because I chose to use a pie plate, but hey, whatever, it works. Now, would you serve that right away or would you cool it again? I think I would cool it because that's gonna firm up our frosting here a bit and bring it all together. Last step, we gotta dress this thing up with some fruit. You could sprinkle on like some frozen blueberries if you want. I'm gonna use this with some fresh strawberries, so just take your strawberry, slice, into whatever and there we go boom we got ourselves a tres leches you're gonna mess up your beautiful strawberry creation it's inevitable okay here we go can i keep it as a piece oh wow Ooh. not bad is it moist they, you can see the second leche just going through the there second leche. just beautiful so let's try our tres leches cake when you eat it you don't need a beverage the beverage is in there it's called milk mm. it's soft it's juicy but it's not mushy it's got lots of really sweet flavor mm. it's so so good and it just works it just works it just works Oh, that's so much fun. It's been a little while since you had this. This is like a texture treat. Yeah, it really is. The frosting's nice and sweet. And the inside isn't overpoweringly sweet, but it's wet and the strawberries, it's perfect. If you bring this anywhere, it'll be gone. If you wanna get your hands on this recipe, you'll have to get your hands on this cookbook. Oh boy, buy our cookbook right now. It's shipping right away in paperback version, or you can just buy the digital version too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click here for more recipes just like this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.